In this video I'm going to show you how to use Claude and a tool called Mermaid to instantly create flowcharts. Whatever your purpose is for needing flowcharts, whether it's presentations, your website, social media, you can use Claude in addition to Mermaid here to instantly create these flowcharts with just a quick prompt within Claude. As you can see here in this example, Claude's provided this code on the left, the JavaScript code based off a prompt I gave it on what I wanted. I copy and paste that into Mermaid here and it instantly creates this flowchart. You can also include your branding, so I've given it instructions on what colors and fonts to use so that it comes back in the right brand colors. So I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough here of, of how the project's set up and how it works. Okay, so let's jump over to Claude now. We're in the project section here. So as you can see, there's chats and then projects. We've set up this project for this purpose to be a Mermaid chart builder. If we open up project knowledge here, we can see we've got project instructions. So with Claude's help, I got it to create the set of project instructions. So I just explained what I wanted to build, which is essentially a hub where I can go in to quickly prompt Claude to build the code for mermaid charts. And this is what it's come back with. So the project purpose here, you are a specialized mermaid diagram creation assistant. Your primary role is to help users create professional brand compliant diagrams using mermaid syntax, you have access to comprehensive resources including diagram types, best practices, brand guidelines and prompt templates. So there's a whole heap of other instructions here. So this context is available to Claude anytime you start a chat within this project, which means you're going to get back relevant and highly effective code because it's got this context and it's operating based on these guidelines every time it responds. So we can see in project knowledge we've also got some other documents. Again, these are documents that Claude recommended when I prompted it on this project build. So we've got some style templates, a troubleshooting guide, a list of diagrams that are available within Mermaid. So if we quickly jump over to Mermaid here, we can see these are all the diagram types that you can choose when you do build a diagram. I've given Claude this information so that when you do brief it on what you want to build it can have a look at this and then recommend which type of diagram is the best one to use for your use case so we can see also we've got two versions of the prompt template here we've got the universal prompt template and then the master prompt so the universal prompt template here is just a very detailed version of what the prompt would be so as you can see instructions project context and purpose, brand guidelines, additional colors, system process and context, what I'm documenting, process flow overview, important features to highlight, technical requirements, output format, readability requirements, quality standards. It's a very in-depth detailed prompt. This now being in project knowledge means that Claude can reference this every time you give it a prompt but obviously we don't really want to have to copy and paste this entire prompt every time we want to start a new project because there is a lot of detail here and, and it's a bit annoying I guess to have to go through and find out you know which specific parts of this prompt you need to update for each project so what we've done is we've just uploaded this as an item in project knowledge and then what we can do is use the master prompt here to very quickly prompt Claude to create the code for our flowchart and it's going to reference the detailed prompt template in project knowledge to assess the requirements and create optimized mermaid code so rather than having to copy and paste that large detailed prompt we can just use this one and and because of the instructions we've got here it's going to reference that template so what I'll do now is I'll copy paste this and we'll we'll try it out okay so we can see the master prompt here I've copy and pasted that into this chat window and I've filled out the details of what I want to create. So as you can see the project I'm working on here, I want to create a high level overview of the N10 AI agent flow for Eliza OS V1. This, the chart should show the full workflow when user input is received, include all nodes, any feedback loops, memory or learning features that are built into Eliza. I've also added here at the end, if you have any questions or need any more information, please ask. So that's a really good one to include if what you think you might be providing is is maybe a bit vague or there's potential for confusion. That's a good one to just include because if it is unsure about anything, it will follow up with questions and ask for clarification. For brand guidelines, I've just said refer to the Snapper AI guidelines in project knowledge. So you can see over here, I've uploaded the Snapper AI brand guidelines into project knowledge. That's just another good way to save a bit of time instead of having to write the fonts and colors you wanna use. 
if you're working with multiple brands and multiple guidelines, you can upload all of them to Project Knowledge and just reference the specific one based on what project you're working on or what brand you're working with. And the output goal I've just specified here that I just want a simple high level overview of the flow for use in a slide deck. So um, because I'm going to use it in a slide deck, I don't want it to be super detailed, otherwise it won't fit and won't be readable in that format. As you can see here, we've then just got the, the end of the prompt, reference the detailed prompt template and project knowledge to assess the requirements and create the optimised mermaid code. So I've also asked it to specify what diagram type it's chosen and why. So we'll hit start here and see what Claude comes back with. We'll see if it has any other follow-up questions or whether it just creates the code for me. Okay, so Claude thought for a while and then came back with what was initially a very detailed flowchart. So I just prompted it to make it a bit more simplified. And it's come back with this code here. So we can now copy and paste this across to Mermaid. And this is the flowchart that it's created. So we can see here, that here this is now a high-level overview of the AI agent flow on Eliza V1, user input, retrieve context, memory system, we can see that path and the feedback loop that then strengthens that memory system. So this is now something we can use within Mermaid. If we want to make some changes, we can here. We can make edits um, with the drag and drop feature. We can also export it. So if we want to export as a PNG or an SVG, we can. And yeah, we can even prompt Claude now to make some variations of this flowchart. So what I might do is say, just to be clear, I want to use it in a slide deck. So I'd prefer the flowchart fits in a square setting. Can you adjust? So if we're, it's not really square, is it? But we'll see if it kind of understands what I'm trying to say that in, rather than being a very long top to bottom flow chart. We want it a bit more spread out so that it'll fit within a slide deck. It's done that. That could work. We'll copy this code across again and see. Yeah, it's kind of just flipped it, I guess, but we can see there just with a quick prompt, we've now got a different version of the flow chart. So yeah, it's a really powerful way to quickly create these flow charts and edit them using AI rather than having to either code yourself or mess around with you know dragging and dropping if we if we can get to this point with with AI and prompting there's very little dragging and dropping required really as opposed to having to build this entire thing from scratch so just as another example let's say let's say we want to remove the model provider okay so we can just go back and say remove the model provider node from the chart so again, it, that's a pretty simple fix, but again, we'd have to delete that and then play around with those arrows, you know, delete a few of those and tidy it up if we wanted to do it manually. But if we just prompt Claude here, it does it automatically. Copy and paste that code across again, and we sh should see this model provider node be removed, and it is. So yeah, there's, there's a quick little simple setup for using Claude and Mermaid to create flow charts quickly that are you know, branded and really valuable and versatile to use across different placements. So I'll include the prompt template, the detailed one and the master prompt in the description below. So if you want to build this for yourself in Claude and give it a try, uh, you can do that. Thanks.